recording. Ten o'clock. I left my phone on the charger. That's good. It was like a, when you texted me, I looked up. I was like, wasn't really paying attention to it. I was like, four percent. No. You are not to be told. I'm the youngest. saying correct like that correct <laughs> and I was like yeah that's yeah of course I can't find it right you know I can't find it's it me. yeah because I'm correct <laughs> it's me. I just had a me. oh here it is it's me. there we go shout out to 816 816 music studios mm-hmm. shout out to you guys man thanks you for the phone, you the phone number do I have a phone number? Uh, there's yeah, 732-606-1590. Mm-hmm. Get out my man, Mr. Noon. Mm-hmm. Pat Noon. Pat these nuts. Noon. 816 Studio Live. Hey, if you didn't know, now you know. Get out there on YouTube. Check out some of it all. Dollars. Dollars, the sum of it all. Look it up. It's on there. On point and J. That's dollars with a Z. Dollars with a Z. Like Dragon Ball. What is that Z. called when you got the three dots? Oh, um. He said what I it know was. What it is. Yeah. Because that's what it is. It's dollars with a Z. I can't three, remember what the three dots. dots are called. And then the sum of it all. Yeah, so then some people know how to find it. You yeah. know what I mean? It's so funny because uh, when he said it, it, it was like chimed, like sixth grade chimed in my head. Mm. They were like, that's a. And I'm like, oh, he knew that. He remembers that. Now, some people don't. He's a smart dude. He is, absolutely. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. I like his uh, I like his uh, vision. Very professional. You got professional provided with the second half. Very nice. Very nice. So, 816, my oh, man packed these nuts. Pat knew. <laughs> Stop. Like, midnight, like, what are you saying? He's like, uh, you know, like midday, like lunchtime, noon. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> That was great. I was like, man, Pat, you should be an engineer. And he's like, well, uh, well I'm trying. I was like, <laughs> he was tough on the crack. He was uh, he was hard to make laugh. Mm-hmm. And then when we got him laughing. But, you know, I thought it was the best thing about uh, doing, the, doing the song when uh-huh. we went there and got the final remix. And all those other uh, artists are in the room eating their food. Yeah. He chimes in. Don't stop now. <laughs> he, hum- he hummed it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like this. <laughs> Exactly. And then you, you said the funniest thing. You were like, uh, I know it's a hit. We losing our women over this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so anyway, get out there and check that out on YouTube. Make it viral so we can get money. Yeah. But you also enjoy yourself while you're making us rich. Please. Yes. And steal it. Do, 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 we, we would like for you to steal it everything yes. you possibly do. So we can sue you. Sue, sue you. <laughs> uh-huh. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I don't really care too much about the news lately because I'm basically. What about the Grammys? Oh. That's your favorite. <laughs> Here on the Scott Old Show, I don't promote or condone the Grammys. Oh. And, and, and what's funny is, I mean, I am about them dollars with a Z. I absolutely am. But and the three little dots. Three little dots. <laughs> but also, I don't. I don't know. I'm not a big grand person. I, I, I keep thinking to myself, if any of the music that I, me and Fifty Grand ever create wins a Grammy, what would I do? It would be via satellite from this garage or something. Or the really? I'm not going. Forties. Yeah. Don't don't even don't even count me like yo. We accept this award on behalf of my ass. Forties. <laughs> <laughs> 
forty uh, tonight. Fuck, fuck. Oh, we have Big Ness here. Big Ness. Here she, she's in spirit. She's in spirit. Look she right there, Big Ness. More. Right there, huh? She lost a lot of weight. Yeah. <laughs> She's here. She's always with us. It's and it was funny. I, I think I chimed when we were messaging each other. I asked her, I said, did you want to change your weave or lose weight? <laughs> she, was just, she just started laughing. She's like, you're so crazy. Uh, I was like, I ain't that crazy. Jesus. It's one corny joke. <laughs> but anyway, as far as the Grammys go, I was saying, I was saying this when we were talking before the show started. I can't stand the Grammys. Because all it is is, it's just like, to me, it's, it's, a, it's a celebration of mediocrity. It's like, Here's here's what we did, and here's what these people like, and here's what they're doing, and all you you don't even need to watch the actual Grammys. Like I said, all you have to do is put on your local radio station, and, and there's the Grammys right there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think the only thing you won't get is uh, Madonna walking out with a pimp hat and a cane. That's a <laughs> oh, Madonna boy. I, I I don't know what's wrong with you. I think you're losing your mind. First of all, I don't know if you heard this, but the Grand after the Grammys. She popped off on Twitter and said the N-word. And she popped off on stage and said the N-word. Really? Yeah. Wow. And, uh, of course, that was a big, you know, like you said, well, you got to do something to stay relevant. You got to do something to stay relevant. Yep. You know, and I guess obviously wearing an all-white tuxedo with a pimp hat and cane mm-hmm. doesn't keep you relevant anymore. Yes, so. There's no more shock value for you, Madonna. I think, you know, what I, what I think that she should do, and, you know, of course, she's a, she's a, a boss bitch, so you can't really tell her what to do but she should start mentoring or something or start doing something different you know because she's trying to stay relevant yeah, i can't I, stand madonna i i started disliking madonna when she tried to downplay um all this electronic music everybody's doing and then what she did and then she made that uh, and then she made, i'm into the speed <coughs> of light remember that song and then yeah. she came out with that electronic song yep. you're gonna sit there i read it in a magazine i'm like you're gonna sit there and talk about electronic music right right right, right. and then you're gonna, and then you're gonna, then you're gonna piss off the 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 godfather of the gays, which is Elton John. I love him. Fantastic artist. No homo. No homo. No, like no, no. Yeah. But no, he's. But it's like you know. And then they were going at each other with claws out. You know. Mm-hmm. He was just he, like she, she. He was like, what is she? Doing? You age. It was so funny. Mm-hmm. Like Madonna, he was like, isn't she? Is she a pop singer? I don't know. Who, who is she? You know, I was like, Ooh. yeah. You know, what are you gonna say to him? He's like, I'm a diva. I'm like, oh, no. I said, like, you know what? I'm about to delete this conversation. I can't really read this anymore. That's what it is, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so there's the gray area there, but we don't really care about that. But anyway, on a good note, though, for the Grammys that I didn't watch, mm-hmm. uh, P. Diddy and Mace got back together, put it on. They did a great, great, great oh, show. Great, great. Like, real good. It reminded me of like 96, 97. Uh-huh. He was up there, why are your girlfriend looking at me? <laughs> why are you standing there? And, and, and the funny part is, Mace, I don't know if anybody knows this, he's a preacher now. Uh-huh. And he also signed with 50 Cent uh, oh, yeah. to, uh, what the heck's it called? Uh, whatever his thing is. Anyway, he signed with 50 Cent, signed there, but he was up there. there. And uh, another great performance that I saw, I only watched him on YouTube because I heard about it. Uh, Dr. Dre got back to with Blackstreet and mm-hmm. he did uh, I like the way you work it no diggity you know and Dre was up there and yeah, Blackstreet was up there and uh-huh. it was just it was incredible like like they never missed a beat and you know and it was funny because Blackstreet ain't been relevant since they did diggity no diggity yep. they probably were calling up Dre like look man no doubt come on get us up get us up on stage Dre's like no diggity no doubt <laughs> <laughs> you know Clowning on those guys, you know. Stay, you know. I, I could take a little ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I would fuel my plane for a week. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what the money's are like. You know, like what? Uh, I don't know. I just don't. Ten thousand dollars of fuels plane for a week. <laughs> I could use some jet fuel for a week. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I heard a funny story about uh, because like when Jay Leno got fired again. No. Yeah. The, uh, what's the name of the guy that's taking over his? Jimmy body? Fallon. Yeah, he's yeah. taking over. Jimmy Fallon's awesome. Yeah. And Jay Leno uh, sucks. And, and it was funny as uh, uh-huh. Leno was talking about how he's in his plane and he's flying and there's a bunch of people in there and you know he's constantly working. You know uh-huh. he's always doing something. Jay Leno. He he rents a plane and he starts flying to wherever he's going and mm-hmm. the pilot comes back and says, Mr. Leno, we're not going to be able to fly over a certain state because of wildfires. Uh-huh. And he's like, well, you know, I lived a good life. I lived a long life. 
I've seen everything once just fly right through the flames, you know? And then and it was funny, all I keep thinking is that's the ultimate jump in the shark. Yeah. Flying over a flying over a state with forest fires. And you'd be like, Oh, what happened to Jay Leno? He was jumping the shark, but he was he was jumping the state. That's with hilarious. Fire. Yeah, so I was laughing about that. You know, I've got the good life, man. I've got the long productive life. Yeah, okay. Give me one of your cars. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean I don't want it to drive, I just want it to sell. Which is okay. So something that was cool today. First off, there's a, there's a movie coming out in February, and it's called uh, uh, Monument Men, uh -huh. and it's 100% based on a true story. It's these guys. They put this team together. They've been together for yeah, many I want to see that. They've years and years. I know um, what you're talking about getting all the, the Nazi relics that were stolen from yeah. France and Italy and all that. They're not else. Nazi relics, but yeah. Well, the Nazis stole all the stuff. Well, yeah, they yeah, stole yeah, all these that's things. That's what I meant to say. Right, exactly. So anyway, what was cool is as I'm reading about this because I'm pretty fascinated by it. These guys, and this is cool. Just before this movie's coming out uh, this weekend, coming up. They've recovered over 36,000 artifacts and paintings and everything mm -hmm. from all over the world. Man, the Nazis were stashed and stuff everywhere mm -hmm. so that nobody, you know, so they could, you know, own it for themselves or whatever they were going to do. And they're going to be auctioning it off this uh, this week in, um, in in New York City. And it's cool. A lot of the original dudes that were in this 40 years ago are going to be there, you know. So mm -hmm. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool, you know. Whatever. Why not? Why not? Why Get not? out there. Show you hard work for 40, 40 years and tracking down stuff that Nazis were just hiding. Mm -hmm. I guess when you say it like that, it's kind of corny. You ever wake up in the morning, go to work, do your thing, no one tells you? The first time you maybe go look in the mirror at like 9 o'clock, you look in and you got a big pimple on your face. I'm like, what? My old Jim TJ ain't supposed to rap. Nobody knows you're telling me about that. I'm like, 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 I'm like,
eat a whole bunch of French fries. Oh, it man. was one fry in there. And I ate half of them on the way home. It was the same meat that stuff, man. Nah, but it French fries are good. <laughs> yeah, I love French fries. Every now and then, you got to have some French fries. Uh-huh. Even if they aren't. So anyway, Wendy's, you can't be messing with people. So if you're going to pay the correct change, put the correct order in there. That's what I'm saying. Second, second groups of people I'm putting in Turtle tonight. Uh -huh. I'm putting in all the haters who didn't like some of it, all the dollar, dollar, dollars. Uh, the sum of it all. I'm putting all those people in. I'm going to put at least six, seven hundred people in the Turtle tonight. Because you know what? You hate on us. You hate me. You hate 50 grand. You hate this show. You hate everything we stand for, but yet. You we, like Justin Bieber. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You like the beeps. You like the beeps. And I'm not gonna say that. I know the man's talented. The boy the boy does sing. And I don't care. You know, you can call him whatever you want. And it's not talented. But that's what happens when young people get money too fast. They don't have a parent to put them in a headlock. Mm -hmm. But anyway, all them people out there, they hating on us, hating on the studio time, hating on the hard work we're putting in. We oh, love man. the haters. We love the haters. And you know you what? You love the toilet. Yep, we love the toilet. Love it. Put it right, right in the toilet. Right next to Chris Christie. Chris Christie. Right, right, Oprah. Next, right next to Chris Christie and Oprah's Oprah. Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Right next to all of them. Right up to their blue knots. Yep. <laughs> right up to them. And after two, three, four cans of Bush's baked beans. Nice. With extra garlic and hot dogs. Wash that down with a nice warm Meister brow. Get up there, so I'm gonna tell you what, man. All you haters, we out there gunning for your spot, and we gunning for the top spot too. So, that being said, make sure you check out the new video, man. Get out there, check the music out. Get out. Dollars there. with a Z. Dollars with a Z. Three dots. The sum of it all. The sum of it all. Get out there and like it and listen and share with your friends. Share with your baby mom friends. Share with your baby dad friends. Share with your friends you don't like. Because that means they're haters. Bring them on. So any all you people get fit in the turtle tonight. Give, can you get, did we get a flush here? Yeah, we got a flush. Oh, I already, uh, already yeah. flushed it. Okay. <laughs> Good for them. You already exited it out. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some random shit you did to piss somebody off. Oh, okay. First of all, I know my son ain't doing this homework. <laughs> I know he's out there eating burgers and nuggets. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. This, this didn't happen today, of course, but last week, last week was a big storm. Jersey got hit with a nice big, the, the, the Arctic vortex. Ooh. That's all it sounds like. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> I, I'll tell you it after this. It's always a random shit. Oh, so anyway, driving up and down, see what we get paid to do. We get paid to plow. You don't get paid to shovel, but you have to shovel because it's your house and you got to do it. We get paid to, to, to plow curb to curb. Right, mm -hmm. and then what happens is people put, you know, they dig their they dig their uh, driveways out, and then I have to come by with this plow and mm -hmm. curb the curb. Well, these people, you know, every year they get mad. They get mad. Don't do that. Why? Are you, I just dug this out. I'm like, look, man, I'm here plowing. You're the same person that complains that the the streets aren't done right. But when I do it right, all you do is. So what I did was, he go. I stop and he says, I I you better not. Cover this in because I was out here all morning snow blowing. I'm like, you got a snowblower and you're complaining you got to push snow. So what he's doing is he's pushing the snow, shooting it right instead of putting it onto the lawn, he's pushing, shooting it right out to the street. So you know what I did was I went past his house a few times. As soon as I seen him leave and get up the street, I come flying down the street with his plow turned all the way to the right. <sighs> a big arc of snow all over the place. He puts his brakes on and went right around him. He gets uh, out and puts his hands in the air, and I'm saying to myself, it's going to melt in May. I'll talk to you in May. Come down to me in May and ask me how mad you are that I, that I did that. And, you know, you're going to be wishing we had some snow when it comes to May. Uh, so to that great person in, on, uh, uh, what the heck's the name of that? that, that it's, it's one of the streets over by High School East. Uh, uh, shout out to you. And, uh, you know, hey, man, I, you, I do my job. You do your job. <laughs> I'll see you in May. We'll have a conversation. You've just been told. Yes. My uncle just got old. <laughs> that's great. Shit. Yeah, it is. It's funny, man. I, I, I keep I keep seeing his face. Like, Dude, that's hilarious. He goes, <laughs> I, I went past the second shot. Uh, when I go past him, I lift the plow up. So I went, he backs out, starts going. I was like this. 
Oh, yes. man. Yes. That's phenomenal. It was funny. It happens all the time, too. Same, same people. Same people that complain and the same people that don't get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, we make billions of dollars, we make girls want to holler and go around and throwing out the dollars. The sum of it all, the sum of y'all, the sum of Paul, the sum of 50 grand and Mario. How you gonna take me down to the next level? We standing on extenders, we walking like we got shovels. You can't do nothing to us. You can't do nothing to us. Now it's time for Uncle Scott. Ha ha ha. Top five. What's a five? Oh, with the pen. That bit. Now tonight, tonight's hot top five was five. It's funny if you think about it, Maybe. or if you don't think about it. Mm -hmm. We'll dumb it down for you. All right. Tonight's hot top five was five is most annoying cartoon characters. Uh huh. And I had to do this because I was watching SpongeBob today. And as much as I like Patrick, he's the most annoying. He gets them in the most trouble. I want to slap him in his face by some of the stuff he does. So I said, okay, now I'm inspired to write my hot top five is five. Number 10. Number 10. The old Robin from, I'm talking about like the 80s Robin, the, the 70s Robin, when he was just in those red and yellow leotards, and he was just like, holy John Strat Batman. Uh, just annoying. He never beat no one up, never drove the car, never saved the person, never did nothing. So, you know what? He's my number 10. Good. Number nine. Number nine, Rocket J Squirrel uh -huh. from the from the uh, Moose and Bullwinkle. Yeah. Uh, Rocky Rocky Bullwinkle. Rocky Bullwinkle. Uh -huh. I'm annoying. I hate you. Go with yourself. Number eight. Number eight, Boo Boo Bear from Yogi Bear. Uh -huh. Yogi. Shut up, man. We're going to steal some Piggy <laughs> Nicky baskets and we're going to get our grub on. Boo Boo, shut up. God. Number seven. Now this one I had to dig for because this this guy here I used to there was a when I was a kid there was a thing called the Hanna Barbera Hour and it yeah I remember well there was a they had um one that was called the uh, the Mighty Hercules and it was a corny cartoon but I watched it, it was on for a little bit uh -huh. they had a half a half boy half horse guy named Newton yeah who was always telling on everybody he did this he did that I was like dude if you would just shut up <laughs> we, you know those cool things would be happening in this TV point I was just like well Newton uh -huh. you on a list too. Number six. Number six. Uh, Dennis the Menace, the cartoon. I hate Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace. Don't like you. You're a pain in the ass. All you do is mess with the old man, Mr. Wilson next door. You're always doing stupid. And nobody whoops your ass. Nobody. Throwing paint cans at people, lighting stuff on fire, popping tires, breaking windows. You, All you are is a bad ass kid that needs to be beat down. Dennis. You're on the list now. We don't condone child support. Uh, child, child support. No, we, child support or child abuse. Yeah, I don't condone child abuse. I don't condone child abuse. Well, my kids have diapers. And he said, my host calls a guest. My kids have diapers. I'm going to die right here. I'll whoop a kid. What do you think? I always got to have new shoes because I'm always putting them up the head. Number five, keep it alive. Okay, number five. This one I gotta say, Tweety Bird. Oh, man. I, I just can't stand Tweety Bird. Uh, I'm like, one, one time I just wish Sylvester would get him. Just <laughs> eat, just do something, you know? He's always doing, he's the most messed up dude, and he gets everyone else in trouble, and he's just like, ah, yeah. Uh -huh. Tweety, you're gonna be, you're gonna be what? 50 grand's gonna make you with some rice. Yeah, I'm gonna put you some rice. <laughs> I love that. I uh, threatened my dog. <laughs> I'm <laughs> my rice. I'm my rice. <laughs> you shit on the floor. <laughs> like, what is this? That's that's a crib. Yeah. <laughs> <Hey, crib rice. laughs> Number four. Number four, olive oil. I just, uh, you know. Oh, Bob. Oh. <laughs> and, and you know, you know a fact that no one's tearing that up. Bruno ain't hitting that. Brutus ain't hitting that. Pop ain't hitting that. And, and there ain't no other girls in, in the damn cartoon. It's just olive oil. They got, all these dudes got to fight over this one rod. Uh, number three. Is she even that old ass? <laughs> number three. Snarf. Snarf. I can't stand Snarf. I, Snarf? I can't stand him. You. You're on. You're on the list now. Yeah, not I stand cannot snarf. stand Snarf. I can't stand Snarf. Get out of here. No, I kick him. <laughs> Number two. Yeah. The Great Kazoo. <laughs> All he did was run his mouth to Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone hated him. He ran the Great Kazoo, ran his mouth. 
I couldn't stand him. He had the big helmet. He was like, and I'm like, you know what? Somebody got to take him out. Man. Oh, I can't great stand his radio zoo. I remember that. Well, now it's time. Yeah. <laughs> Scott Holes, uh, number one. A hot top five with five old time most annoying car- cartoon yeah. characters is Orko from He Man. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! There's another one. Orko. Yeah. What Orko. Oh, yeah. I, I just. Yeah. Another one. Oh. Uh, I couldn't stand Orko. I can't stand you, Orko, and oh you will have God. made number one most annoying cartoon on this. What's place. up, Ron? Take a deep. Take a deep. You got in a car accident. Hope you feel better. Oh, God bless you. He said he was. Uh, Driving and you slipped on some. Hey Ron, ice. how you like the new song? You don't know. Well, he was there when he fr- we first first did. Nah. Uh-huh. I said he kept going. You ain't doing it. Well, right. he put lights on it. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Okay. He kept going. You ain't doing it right. I was like, ah. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. He said you weren't doing it. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> like ah. It's supposed to be my dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't my dad. I would tell him. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> You know why it was a good hot oh, wait, oh, okay, wait, Because right. uh-huh. there was, not only was there uh, names given, uh-huh. but there was reason to get it to. Great. I couldn't stand work out. I couldn't stand work out. Like, uh, 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 wait, are you, saying, are you saying Ron's the one of the annoying cartoon characters you never could handle? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I don't find nothing annoying. And that was Uncle Skeletor was hot. Top five, plus a five, or with the back of it. Yeah, it's like this. Yeah, slate case, case slate, and case base solo. Everybody knows I ride dolo. Everybody's thinking that they want to get down. They got criminal minds. They've been blinded by the BDI. Slash that with 50 grand a man. You ain't ish with the gun in your hand. He got the close quarter combat. Put you in the ground eight feet deep. What the hell you want, some of that? You ain't got nothing with us. BDI said, get out the back of the bus. I take you down the street to this hardcore beat. While my JV sees my bricks the concrete. <laughs> Get on C in hand. I'm crazy like Eminem and Stan. Out here. I'm <laughs> crazy like Eminem and Stan. Uh. Uh, be nerdy. Oh, I just got that. What? I thought these were like some, uh, some like, you know, whatever the hell they're called. You know, on the, 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 the periodic table. Yeah, but it says be nerdy. You just got I it. I just saw it. I was like this. I was like, blah, blah, blah. I was like, be nerdy. I was like. Dude, Man. really? I had this book for. You've had that book for 20 years. I never look at the cover. <laughs> I never look at the cover. Dude, you've had that book for 20 uh, years and you just got that. Yeah. Only you. I never, I never, like, Ron, Ron said, uh, dollars of some of it all is great. All right. Tell him to play, play it at the church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Play, it for, play it for the church. Have the choir so, dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do like, I want some buildings and that. Pat, 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 pat. That's a skit. That's a skit. That's a skit, right? But that's so, a technical <laughs> foul. Oh, that's great. Oh, man, that's so funny. That is Be nerdy. When somebody else buys me a book, I don't pay attention. <laughs> That's alright though. That's a technical foul. And I still can't get rid of this CD. <laughs> Dude, why even show Because <laughs> you the, can't. I don't want to condone that. Because my, no, my the, the, the art is so bad you can't even read it. Oh, okay. I mean, honestly, if you ever look at this and go, okay, I want to read, I want to listen. Oh, I can't. Uh, can't listen to none of them. I try. I try. time i had a great time uh remember everybody get out there dollars some of it all i point at jake.net get out there like it love it live it my old jim t jane's supposed to rap and it's the truth and remember everybody i hope the scott old show when you leave and stay focused and when you're focused you can leave and remember be nerdy (laughs) yes 
My old gym teacher ain't supposed to rap. My old gym teacher, my old gym, my old gym, my old, my old, my old gym teacher ain't funny. supposed to rap. Me saying that, my old hip hop fans are gonna be like, ah! Oh. Uh -huh. Fall, 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 each, each, gym, 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 each, each, fall, fall, gym. Supposed to. I can't wait till the DJs really mix it that way. <laughs> gotta make those billions of dollars. Gotta make those billions. Gotta make those billions of dollars. Gotta make those billions. Gotta make those billions of dollars. You love those billions and billions on the hit all.